Good evening. This is Hashtag Walk With Lan. Or <laughs> this is Alan Burgos from Hashtag Walk With Lan. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. So what we will be uh, tackling or discussing today is all about absolute and relative references with trace precedence. Okay, so uh, our question is how to use relative and absolute references in formula. So what I'm sharing right now is a data file, okay, wherein it contains the punla ng nayod sales, okay, now uh, this uh, 2020. Okay, so you have the lease of products that they have and the cost per kilo uh, when they sell these, I know, uh, this, the seeds. Okay, you have the asparagus uh, and zucchini there, all right? Now you have also uh, the, the quality or the quantity rather in terms of, uh, sorry, in terms of kilos. This is kilos, guys, huh? um, in terms of KGS, okay, in terms of KGS, all right? Now they sold this one and, uh, okay, let me erase this one. <laughs> Okay, now, okay, we will be using this uh, data file in order for us to um, to show, okay, the absolute and relative references. So, by default, okay, in Microsoft Excel, we are using relative references, okay? So, in this particular column, column E, we will be using, we will be computing the subtotal, okay, uh, we will be computing the subtotal using the relative references. Shall we start? Yes, let's start. Okay, now, let's start with an equal sign, okay? Um, when you enter a formula in Microsoft Excel, you always start with an equal sign. Okay, now, let's try to select the letter uh, C5, okay, C5. There you are. And then we will be multiplying it by the quantity that we sold, that they sold, okay? And then we press enter key or enter key on the keyboard. Okay, there you are. All right, now I'll be, I'll be erasing this one so that, we, I can be, so that I can be able to demonstrate to you what is relative reference. Okay, now here, relative reference, as you can see, I'll just uh, double click on this. Okay, and presto, you have there, right? Now, let's try to look at, um, at E5, okay? And then we go, we click on the formula. Okay, as you can see, you have there, right? Okay, you have there uh, the source and, yeah, you have the cells, right? Uh, C5 and D5 there, right? Okay, so because we multiply that. But when we go to uh, E6, rather, Okay, E6, okay, and then double click on it or click on the formula. Okay, now look at this. Okay, it, it is moving downward also as we move uh, the location also, right? Okay, now here, uh, uh, we multiplied uh, um, the C5, C6 rather and D6, okay, and so on and so forth, okay? So meaning to say, as we move down, downward, um, our location or our formula is do uh, is moving, uh, moving that thing also. Okay. Now, if we go to tax, the tax is eleven percent or 0. 0.11. So if we multiply that thing, the, this time around we will be using the um, absolute reference. Okay. Now here we type equal sign. Okay, and then. We click on the subtotal, all right? And then we will be multiplying it by the percentage, which is 11%, okay? And then we press enter, okay? So as you can see, um, okay, so let me delete this first, okay? Let me delete that first. And then when, we, I, when I double click on it, okay, it shows negative, the, uh, negative, uh, uh, what do you call that? Negative symbol there right because look at this okay because it moves no uh, it multiplies uh, it multiplied by e6 to j no 
uh, J5, okay, and so on and so forth. That's why it's negative. J5 also, okay, um, and so on and so forth, right? Okay, the reason why that we have that thing, because um, here, by default, we are using the relative reference. Okay, now, let's use the absolute reference. So, how can we do that? Here, okay, so let's go to J3, and then we press F4 in the keyboard, F4 in the keyboard, okay, so meaning to say that particular column, that particular area will be what? Will be there, no, I mean absolute, no, okay? So let's press enter. Okay, there you are. Okay, it shows you the absolute reference there. No, look at this. Let me delete this one first so that we can appreciate it. Okay, now here let's use the um, trace precedent so that uh, we will appreciate it. Okay, trace precedent meaning to say here we go to formulas, formulas tab, and there you are under formula auditing. We have there the trace precedent. Okay. So we go here. All right. We go here first at F5 and then click on the trace precedence. There you are. Okay. So meaning to say, okay, um, we 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 have this for we have this answer because it came from E5 and then J11. Okay. Now let's remove the precedence, remove the arrows. Okay, now we will be double clicking on this on the lower right portion of the cell. Okay, now let's go to uh, F21. Okay, now let's click on the trace precedence. Okay, there you are. So, meaning to say here, meaning to say we multiply this in uh, e, E21 and J, um, J3. All right. And then if we go here at um, at F5, we click on the trace precedence, it's there, all right? So let's remove the arrows, okay? How about the total? We finish this one with equal sign and we, um, we subtract the subtotal to tax, okay? Subtract to tax, all right? And then press enter, there you are, okay? So this is the total sales that we have, excluding um deduct in deduction we deducted the tax for that matter. Okay. Now, if you learn something on this um, tutorial or on this particular video, please like this this video, share it to your friends, share it to your loved ones, share it to your colleagues and classmates. Again, this is Alan Burgos from hashtag #WalkWithLan. Please do subscribe on my channel and I want to say goodbye and God bless.